All right. The penultimate day. It is not day four. What am I doing here? It is day five, folks. It is not day four, day five. I keep this is the last thing I keep forgetting to change every time. So here, day five, we're four days in, which is pretty impressive because we're at 73.7%. We've had one dip below our 50% threshold, and that was just a dumb choice by myself. Uh, that I paid for with uh, a score that is not amazing. But it has led us here. We can't be too upset. And it looks like we might be opening two clubs again in this set. We've already opened it once and played some slam here. That is, what is that, 20? 10, 16, 19, 20. So it's, here are some downgrades. Let's look at downgrade, upgrade. Downgrade, king, queen, tight of hearts. That's what we call that. That's a little bridge talk for you. King, queen, tight means you only have those two cards. If you add a small card, king, queen, third. If you add another, king, queen, fourth, right? This is king, queen, doubleton, or king, queen, tight. It could be wasted value, right? If the opponents just have the ace, or if partner has like ace, doubleton, two of these points are wasted, or three of these points, whichever way you look at it. However, this hand also has a massive upgrade for this beautiful six-card diamond suit. So as I'm counting this hand, I see 20 high card points, I think it's it's just a bit over the threshold. <laughs> I hate when partner does this. So this is like the worst bid ever. Um, <laughs> when partner bids three, two no first. And now they bid th four no after this. I just don't love it. Uh, I, I mean, just bid two diamonds, partner. Let me bid two no, and then you have a better choice. Um, I just don't. I don't love it. I'm going to bid six no trump because I, I just – here's my problem. I just don't trust my partner, and my partner's the robot. So when they have these sorts of weird invitational sorts of decisions, I usually assume they're getting them wrong. <laughs> so that's where that's where I stand on this. We've done very well here. Um, just what I'm going to do before I touch anything, I'm just going to count my winners, and, and this is a super helpful process for everybody. Six diamonds, three hearts as long as I unblock hearts appropriately. That's nine. One club, that's 10. Where are our extra tricks going to come from? Well, luckily, they're coming from the suit that the opponents are helpfully leading for us. So I'm going to try to preserve the queen of spades in the north hand there. The best they can do is lead a club, but it's too late for them. right? Notice if they let a club first, we're dead, essentially. We have 11 top tricks on our best day, and that's with hearts being amazing for us in a, in a weird way. But when they lead a spade, they've gotten rid of our loser and we have two spade tricks so this is a gift of all gifts so be careful though you're not through the woods yet you must unblock your hearts right so get rid of your heart position in your hand and wow well, the hearts were breaking interestingly uh now cross to the king of diamonds or the queen of spades that you helpfully preserve for yourself and there's your ace of hearts cash and now it's claim city folks two spades the rest of the diamonds another slam in the books <laughs> We've been a lot of slams here, folks. Look at this. We could have been a slam on board one. We missed that one, but we've scooped up the other three uh, with six hearts, six no trump, and once again, six no trump. That's 92.9, and that's just aggressive bidding by our side. Uh, here's BJ Noel and Gaston. Uh, and one open, two no. The other did what we did. All right. Um, so we'll take that. The rest of the field's in three no trump. And the hand's just too good. It's, it's too good. For, first of all, it's too good for two no Trump, right? Not only do I have 20 high card points, but I, mean, I have a six card suit. I'll add a couple of points for that. So here I'm certainly, you're not going to convince me to open two no with that hand. No, I'm, I'm going to open two clubs. Again, the downgrade of the king, queen of hearts, for sure. That is something you should downgrade. But um, the six card suit, ace, queen, jack, six, that's an upgradable spot. And I'm glad we did. Here is the only time you will open one diamond with three of them. We talked about this, I think, on hand one or two this week. Uh, maybe hand one. Uh, we're going to open a diamond, and it's the only time we might have three because we exactly have four, four in the majors. If you and your partner open a club in this situation, it's called the short club, and you should be alerting your opponents to that. You, you have to announce this. Uh, so here, if you agree that you would open a club in this spot, you just, when you open a club, you say, could be short. Um, I hate that uh, agreement. I like kind of the normal stuff. Open, when you're 3-3, three, three, open clubs. When you're 4-4, four, four, open diamonds. 
And the only time you're ever opening diamonds with three in that case is this particular spot when you are specifically four, four in the majors and three, two diamonds and clubs here. We found our nice heart fit. We communicate that to partner and we see how high they want to go. And they want to give us the choice. Okay. Well, we can't get much better than this. We have 14 high card points and a doubleton club. We're kicking it in. And this is more of that traditional invitational spot. Hey, partner, are you at the high end or low end? Well, I can't be higher than this. So this, this we don't expect this to go wrong for us too often. And look at partner's hand. Wow. I don't love that club lead. That's kind of gross, right? It looks like it could just be shortness, right? So we want to be careful here. But we're going to take advantage of this. I'm going to play a heart to the king. Let's hope the hearts are dividing at worst 3 2. And now I'm going to just play a club towards that 10. This should work out pretty well for us. Uh, I don't expect them to lead away from the queen too often. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. So, ace of clubs. I'm going to shake a spade. Uh, this is fine. They're, they were destined to rough this. And now we've drawn all the trump, folks. And now all we have to do is rough a club, and we'll be sitting pretty. Uh, here, we might be able to shake a diamond if they get it wrong, and they don't. <laughs> so, here we have to take the spade finesse no matter what we do. Um, but let's be careful here. Let's rough this in our hand. And then we're going to rough a club to set up clubs. And now I can claim, right? I can lead a low spade back to my hand. I can rough a diamond. Um, we just have the rest. 96.4. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> did, did we do something weird here? All right. Everybody's going down. Um, what did we do wrong? Uh, what did we do right? I guess pe people are playing clubs right away. So let's look. This is a really weird one. I did not expect to have this good of a score here. And Roy Roger, congratulations for you. So this weird one, no Trump. Let's look at a, a more of an auction like we had. There we go. This is an auction like we had. There's the eight of clubs. So you take a spade finesse right away. Yeah, so this just opens up badness for you. And did you play Ace of Clubs? Yeah, okay. So here's what you have to understand with the lead, folks. It, it is so helpful, so helpful when you see a lead to just get put yourself in that chair. Right? What, what is precipitating this choice of leads? And the big thing that should come to your head is, well, my goodness, I have six in this hand. There are two in this hand. All right? Why would they be doing this? Especially why are they leading the eight? Well, it's either eight and another one, meaning this is a doubleton lead, or it's the only one they have. The big thing is, is that they are very, very unlikely to have the queen, especially when the jack gets played originally. So at this point, either way this happens, if you give them the rough or if they give themselves the rough, if you don't draw Trump right away, you want to be playing the 10 of clubs the next time around. So that has to be the big thing. And that's a, that's a, a, a leak in everyone's game on this one, apparently, score-wise. And it's just going to happen. The more you see this, the more it will become clear, right? What are they doing? Why? Why are they leading a club? It, it almost always is shortness in this spot, folks. Because think about it. Would they, especially once you see the jack, would they go out of their way to lead low from like queen third of clubs? Or queen, they're certainly not queen doubleton, right? So, so it's it could be queen fourth, I suppose. And now, you know, maybe it's but it's the eight of clubs also. It's a it's a card that is very revealing, and it's, it just wasn't as revealing to you guys yet, yet. But uh, keep playing, keep grinding through these hands. You'll get better, and you'll see more of these things. So, man, good scores. Uh, let's see if we can hold on. Seventy-seven point nine percent. We.